I want to give Boston a little bit of run. I want to focus on three players. We haven't talked about Raphael Devers all year. It's so true. He's got 29 and an 877 OPS, okay? That's number one. Number two, how good is Justin Turner? He's been really good. bombs. 288, 20, 79. There's not any panic in this guy's game. Remember no one's Alex, hit Michael King. Remember what Alex Cora told us about him at the beginning of the year? Yeah. Or he's earlier this year that he is the guy in our clubhouse. And he's he just he's got there. When he's done. He's a, he's a true professional. The way, the way the he goes way. about his business. And that ballpark helps him because yeah. you're going to get pitched away a lot in Boston because of the green monster. And that's actually his strength, driving the ball to right center. And one more. Didn't we think Kenley Jansen was done like four years ago? Remember we said he's going to struggle with the pitch clock? Oh, my God. Yeah, I he's asked throwing him that in three bullets. Throwing he like was blowing heaters by Judge. That was a paint pellet down and in. I know Judge thought it was a ball. Yeah. It caught the K zone. And he blew away Glaber. He's coming. He Top can his hold his. He's been awesome for them. Real quick, Bo. State of the Yankees. I mean, we've discussed oh. it the last couple of weeks at nauseum, but what do you see? When you, you, this is a ball club that they've lost their identity. You look at last year, the New York Yankees led Major League Baseball in home runs with 254. Mm -hmm. This year, they have 168. What are they hitting as they're, a team? They're 26 in on-base percentage. Ooh. When you start to think about creating runs, we have a team, they can't create runs. Yep, yep. They're last in baseball going first to third. They're 29th in baseball going second to home. And when you look at wow. their, BR, their BSR, it's minus 11.6. So when you think about being all or nothing, the way this team has been built, sometimes you got to change your identity to find success. And this is a team that has been stubborn to change their identity You're right about to that. try to create one scoring opportunities. The one thing I just want to add, and just not making excuses, but man, Rodon never threw the ball for them the entire year. Nestor Cortez never threw the ball for them the entire year. It's just Severino's given them nothing. Yeah. So it's been Garrett Cole in a bullpen. But that's why. And but sprinkle in a Herman who shouldn't even be on the roster. But Dero, that's why when you look at your ball club, you can come into the season and say, okay, we're going to be able to pitch and we're going to hit the ball out of the ballpark. We start having injuries in our rotation. We're not hitting the ball out of the ballpark. There are other fundamental things in baseball yeah. that you have to sit your ball club down and say, yeah. hey, listen, we're not hitting the ball out of the ballpark the way I thought we was. We're not pitching the way we thought we were going to pitch. We got to find ways to win baseball games, and that's what they're not doing. Speaking of hitting the ball out of the ballpark, uh, the Toronto Blue Jays hit uh, five home runs yesterday. They take two of three from the Cincinnati Reds. Bo Bichette returned to the lineup on Saturday. Sunday he had a couple of knocks, including a homer. Hyunjin Ryu is pitching very well. Uh, yes. Yusei Kikuchi is pitching outstanding. This is an this is why this American League race for these wild cards and division talk, it's gonna be a lot of fun because there's a group of teams, D Road, that if they're playing at their best at the right time, they could be representing the, the Blue American Jays League in the, the World Series. Absolutely. The Blue Jays and the Mariners kind of mirror each other because you look at their roster built for October. They are yep. built for the marathon and the sprint. Who could overcome their opening day starter just going in the tank? Toronto Blue Jays is, have done exactly that. Yep. Who can overcome Vladdy not being vintage Vladdy the last couple years? Left yesterday's game with a finger. Yes, they've been able to overcome it. They have played They play D. Kiermaier was a sight for sore eyes, getting him back. Springer's been silently better, yep. but, but it all goes through Bo Bichette. And John Schneider is not afraid. I mean, he set George Springer <laughs> during the course of this series. He's not afraid to maybe kind of mix ruffle it up some, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, mix it up a little bit. They're a dangerous team. The Blue, Jays, the Blue Jays and the Mariners are both Ooh, two dangerous teams. Look at this. Kind of a soft landing up. after uh, Baltimore. The Orioles. Although, don't sleep, don't sleep on the Nats. On the no. Nats right now. We saw them last night in Williamsport, and Robert and I both walked away saying they're even better than we thought. And this was the scene last night in Williamsport. There's so much young talent. And by the way, they just did an amazing job with the Little League photos side by side with the big league photos. And you were talking about the number two bat sported by Alec Bohm. I feel like this game and the handshakes at the end, they stayed for that on camera. I feel like this game in its purest form at its lowest level, right? Little League 
is as good yeah. and on par with it at, at the big leagues level. Yeah. It's a Americana, and it was on display the last whole, night. The whole, thing, the whole thing is just done so well. Perfectly, it's, it's yes. Been, it's been an absolute home run. And look at this. Look at this. The imagine? kids will never forget yeah, this. Great. I can't that imagine so nice. if Don Mattingly, my hero, showed up to watch me play a Little League game at the highest level. And next year it'll be Yankees Tigers, correct? And the shake yes. hands after the game. That's great. And by the way, Davey Martinez had half of those guys on the Phillies. It's like the Phillies all went to the Nats and the Nats went to the Phillies. No, it was really well done. And it, you're right, Lauren. I love watching the, the Castellanos field. was great. Yes, was good. he was really and good talking to the beautiful. crew. You're talking about changing the lives of those kids? Right. Oh, my. Because the, the untraveled eye can't see. When you put these heroes in front of these kids, it's no telling what the impact is going to be as they move forward.